So I was in engineering college last year, and well, I couldn't study it anymore. I managed in the first semester, but I couldn't manage the second semester. But when it uh, started taking the toll on my mental health, I quit engineering last year. So now I find myself in a situation where I don't know what I like, and I don't know what to do. I've done enough research on where I could go to college now or next year. But I don't think myself going to college anymore. I don't feel I will be going through it again. Um, so what is the advice I should do now? Okay, one thing, okay? Anyone who's above 22 will agree with me. Indian education system is a piece of shit, okay? So just remember that. Anyone all over the country will agree with me. The ones who don't agree with me are the ones who do well in the Indian education system and then they can't do well outside of it. And this I've seen myself, okay? okay? I'm not saying that everyone falls in that bracket. There's some people who do well in it and well outside of it. But if you failed in your life in this country, it really doesn't matter. It's not a sign of your intelligence. It's not a sign of your worth in life, okay? What is a sign of your worth is how much value you're adding to the real world in your life. Most of the most successful people that I know right now, almost none of them now were known for their educational qualifications. Even the guys who are successful in business, guys who are successful on social media, none of them were known for their educational laurels because the education system in India is a piece of shit. So if any of y'all do badly in your studies, firstly, don't let that stop you. Secondly, I feel like he did the best decision by quitting engineering because he figured that that's wrong for him. But the key is to figure out what's right for you. Don't be that person who allows your parents or your peers, the people around you, to determine where your life is going, okay? If everyone is doing a particular job, doesn't mean you guys have to do it. Just keep that in mind. You do exactly what you want. Even if people are telling you that it's shit, people are telling you that, Nene, are, how can you do this? This is embarrassing. Do it. When I started out Beer Biceps, I ran it like a startup. I knew I needed to make money. YouTube doesn't pay you anything when you start, okay? What did I do? I went and became a trainer. Every single person in my engineering class made fun of me. My own family was like, what, what the fuck are you doing? But it was the best thing I did in my life because it taught me the value of money. And it also taught me things that, you know, when I train people, I understood, okay, this is what people want to know about fitness. So it helped me with my content. The key is to keep your brain active. Just do things and do things for three months. Give everything a three month time period. Any kind of new job that you're entering, if you new profession, hold that thing for three months. See how you're feeling. Are you vibing with it? If you're not, it's okay, drop it. At least, you know, the one good thing will come out of it that you'll know, okay, that's not for me. Or you might meet people there who'll tell you, maybe, you know, you should try this. You'll get pointed towards other things, your network will grow. So the key for a 22-year-old is just try new things. And remember one thing, from 22 to 25, for an Indian person, girl, guy, whatever, you grow a lot as a human being. You grow a lot in terms of your brain, your mental capacity increases a lot. Okay, so it's your time to experiment. It's not your time to just do a job because your friends are doing it, your parents are doing it. Even now, some people say this excuse of no, no, but you know, we need to make money and uh, we need to support, we, we need to show the money and all. There are enough opportunities to make money in today's day and age. Three, four years back, there weren't. Today, there are. Most of us won't enjoy boring bank jobs, boring coding jobs. So just spread your mind outside of what our parents tell us. Our parents are not informed about this because they didn't grow up with the internet. That's one thing all of you need to understand. They're looking out for our future. They're worried about us. But we have a lot more skills than they grew up with. Okay? Just remember that. Till today, after a long office, you know, I'll get home and my mom will be like, Why MBA you not MBA? And I'm just like, listen, like, this is just like grown. How can you, how, how can you say that? But I can't blame her. That's how our parents think. Okay? So, bro, where are you? Yeah, just don't worry about anything. But you should worry if you're just chilling at home. Okay? Get out of your house and just do things. Go and apply to different places for jobs. Even if you hate it, do it for one month. If you hate it, leave it, go to another place, apply there. Keep changing your job, you'll find something you like. And if you really don't like something, drastically change your profession. So if you're saying something in coding, don't think that a coding job in a different industry will make you happy. Do something in films, do something in videos.